So what's your question about this? All right. So my question is, what do you think about the little girl? Honestly, we think it's a demon. And whenever we hear anything about a child's spirit, it honestly ter terrifies us more than hearing about something called a poltergeist or a noisy ghost or some actual mouse thing. Because when we hear of a child's spirit, we're more terrified now because we think it's a fucking demon. Okay, and what about the black figure with the red eyes? We think that was like trying to turn itself into a little girl just to fuck with us even more and scare the shit out of us. If, do you think if you stayed inside the house longer, you would have gotten some kind of possession going on? Peter was possessed within the first five seconds of us actually being in the house. And do you think any of these things have followed you? Definitely. I know one has. Uh, which one is it? I can feel its eyes on me right now as I talk about it. Oh. Uh, which one? Oh, my shoulder. My right shoulder's just burning. Fuck. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, it's just like a scratch mark on my shoulder. Oh my god! Anyway. That's not good. Yeah, I'll send you a picture of it. You can feel free to put it like, in there or something. Alright. I'll put it right alongside the interview thing. Yeah, just say that this happened during the interview while they were while we were talking about it. Okay. And uh let me think of some more questions. Um I'm sorry, what was the question? I'm trying to think of more questions. Um what about the house? What do you know about the house that you guys went to? Well, we know it was destroyed during Katrina and we know like it's either a telephone pole or a street smashed it because it was like cut in half. Oh, okay. It was a two-story house with yellow painted sides, and the inside of it was all moldy, trashed, and there was, like, paintings, like, satanic paintings on the floors and walls and shit. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> you have anything else you'd like to know? Oh, uh, I think that's it. I just, I just saw that picture. That's really bad. Oh, uh oh. Yeah, that was really fucking weird. That that was so, crazy. Whatever the hell is following us, it got pissed off. I was answering this question. <laughs> oh, oh my god, my entire body just got the chills. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Alright. Uh, are you sure you want to continue? Because I'm I'm really worried about your safety now. Yeah, let's continue this. Alright. What do you think just scratched you? Honestly, I think that fuck is out of Do you think that the demon, maybe it's the, the tall one with red eyes that's following you? Yeah, obviously it is. Mm -hmm. And we believe we have a name for it. What's his name? It calls itself Lena, which we believe it does us because it's like trying to become a light in the darkness because it tries to lure you in through being very soft, very gentle. In reality, it's the darkest thing you can ever imagine. Like, you end up almost wanting to call out to it to help you, but then in reality, what it needs it because every time you do that, you summon it and re summon it and re summon it, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And this thing has been with us for years, like a year or more now. What are you planning on doing? How are the others affected by this experience? The leap is affected pretty much like I am. Peter? Peter seems to have PTSD to a degree now. Like, you go up to him, you 
he whisper into his left ear, he's pretty sad. But he almost spazzes out because of how scary he gets. Apparently, what Peter told me he was like he experienced was he felt like something was just constantly whispering to him almost sweetly. Like it would have loved or something like that. Mm-hmm. And he was out cold the entire time. Kind of like all he can remember is hearing this sweet, gentle voice almost trying to soothe him as it enveloped him in darkness. How many people got injuries? Believe it or not, we got physically injured. Alistair and Peter are like mentally scared, and God knows what the hell happened to Chris. He never spoke of it, and he was wearing long clothes for a while, so we believe he got pretty cut up. What do you think happened to him? Your speculations. We think he experienced like a full blown attack because we were in there and we violated that thing's space when we went in there. So when he went in there, it was like almost a double penetration. He was even more violated. Why do you think they re- responded so violently to you? Were those three terrifying dudes? Well, four dudes. In this case, like Philippe Pierre, Alistair, and I, even though Philippe Pierre and I were the ones who went in first. We're those guys who basically people fear, and this thing could scare us. So it must have wanted to feed off of power and fear. What do you think will happen if other people go inside the house? The house has been destroyed. They replaced it with a new building, but from what we hear of it, nobody buys this house. Do you think that the new building's also going to have these spirits and demons inside of it? I believe the demons are now attached to us, so I believe that we're fucked, not the place. But if someone got into a new place and they were doing whatever the hell they did beforehand, they might be even worse shit there now in store for whoever comes there next. So, if you think it's attached to you, what do you think happened to the little girl? Like I said, there was never a little girl. We think that was the demon trying to lure us and play tricks on us. And we fell for it. Mm -hmm. Hell, my neck is standing up and I'm laying on my bed. (laughs) Are you okay? Yeah. Ah, shit. Alright, I'm gonna have to stop it now, okay? Okay.